Yo, what is up everyone? Constant Gaming Squad here, and I am back with another upload. Thank you guys very much for joining me here today. And in today's video, I will be talking to you guys about one of the oldest, or actually it is the oldest NBA Live Mobile promo, and unfortunately it is one of the promos that gets lost in all of the uh, promos that EA has dropped so far. We've had so many. We had Flashback, we had um, this new one right here, the Lunar New Year, we had the specialist we had that um the one with paul george and shaq i forgot what that one is called it was like the harvest one yeah we had the specialist um black friday we had a bunch of different um programs so far and this one gets forgotten so often and i want to talk to you guys about it because this one in my opinion was the best one just because it was very easy to get the players it was easier for people that don't spend coins like if you see the past few promos that have dropped they're all they've all been like centered towards pay to win players if you look at the one that dropped today the all-star one you literally have to spend coins to get the players there's literally no way around it if you want to get Steph or lebron um you have to spend coins that's unfortunate but you you have to there's no way you you'll get the players without spending coins so that's the unfortunate truth so i want to just show you guys this promo because it is so so good uh, I really wish EA would do something like it once again. Um, they did also drop another good one a while back, which was the um, the swag promo. That one was really good. It was easy to grind as well. I got the uh, James Harden. I forgot to do the other one for some reason, but that's all right. I got the James Harden. He's pretty good too. But the promo that I am referring to is the Crossroads promo. This was the first one that dropped in NBA Live Mobile. The first day uh, the game dropped, it was there. So. It had like five players, I believe. Let me name them all. We had Giannis, we had Lonzo Ball, we had Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, and Larry Bird. Yeah, that was the five players. And then there was a coach, and that was the Billy Donovan. I think he's auctionable as well. They were all auctionable. But let's see if the Billy Donovan is on there. He was a silver coach. Unfortunately, he wasn't as good as other coaches, but he was pretty good at the beginning of the game. So he's not auctionable. But the players, they were all 80 overall bases, which is pretty good at the beginning of the game it was. I got all five of them and like, I think it took me like five days to get all five. So that was really sick. Like at the beginning of the game, I had one of the best teams overall. Uh, it was for a little while until, you know, other cards started dropping and I just forgot about it. But right here, this is the card right here, 80 overall Giannis, small forward. This card was really nice. I upgraded it, but then I ended up using it to train my Kawhi Leonard. So there was the Giannis, there was the... Larry Bird that I was talking about. Where is Larry Bird? There he is. 80 overall Larry Bird. There was also the Carmelo Anthony. That was a pretty good card as well. I like the shooting on that card. There was also the Lonzo Ball. Let's type Ball in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Where is Lonzo Ball? Yeah, right here. This is, The card art on this one's pretty slick. I like it. Um, And then there was the... Who did I forget to mention? Oh yeah, Dwayne Wade, guys. I forgot to mention Dwayne Wade. That is one of the cards in there too. This was the weakest one in my opinion, but it was a still it was still a decent card. It was a nothing horrible. But this promo is really great because for your um regular NBA lineup, you can basically fill it out with all elites and you wouldn't have to spend a penny because it was so easy to grind for. And let me tell you guys how you would get these players. So for each of the players, you needed um what are they called, dude? NBA Crossroads tokens, so to get each token you would have to play one live event and one live event gives you one token and you needed a 50 for one of the 50 overalls and what, what did I just say dude? I literally just said this soup. I'm not gonna say that word because it's gonna get me demonetized but I just said one of the most conf confusing things ever you would put in 50 Crossroads tokens to get 180 overall player. So it was pretty easy to get that. Uh, the live events weren't even that hard. It didn't take up too much stamina. So it was totally possible for you to get, you know, possibly even two per per day if, you know, you did all the stamina refill thingies. But yeah, uh, that's the promo right here. Let me know how you guys felt about it. In your opinion, I want to know which one is your favorite promo that was, like, easiest for you to get that had the most, you know, that the better players out of all the promos in my opinion the one that had the best <clears throat> oh my gosh i just choked up there the one that had the best players i'd say is these signature ones yeah these ones had some really nice cards in there yeah the legend no wait what the heck no wait i can't hear. i don't even know what the signature is this one right here yeah the signatures these had some really nice players but in terms of grind ability i would say this crossroads was pretty nice but anyway, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching me.
for watching for watching this video make sure you drop a like sorry if i sound a little sick i am actually but yeah drop a like make sure to dude i don't know what i'm saying today make sure to follow me on instagram at constant gaming squad also follow my other account at king.louis18 i'll put the the handles in the comments so make sure to go follow them but that's all for this video thank you very much for watching and peace